Good evening. Dorchester County school leaders say they want to put an end to vaping and electronic nicotine use among students. Dorchester District 2 is putting on workshops during the month to show parents the possible dangers and warning signs of children vaping. This is Riley Benson joins us in studio. Riley, tonight's workshop was the first of three happening this month. Yeah, Kelly and Brendan, officials in Dorchester County say vaping and e-cigarette use among students have reached epidemic levels, rising steadily across the state and country since 2017. Officials hope through community workshops they'll be able to show parents some tools needed to reverse the trend. It was quite alarming to see how many um, kids are vaping and using products of e-cigarettes, and as a parent, it's concerning that our kids are being targeted. Between 2017 and 2018, vaping among students saw a 78% increase. In 2021, roughly 21% or one out of every five students in the state admitted to vaping. I'm mean, we've known this since 1988, that nicotine's more addictive than heroin itself and cocaine. In South Carolina, officials say tobacco companies pour hundreds of millions of dollars into marketing vaping products to teenagers every year. Chris Rolison with Dorchester Alcohol and Drug Commission says it has dangerous impacts. A person gets addicted. We know that big tobacco then has a consumer for life. During the workshops, officials will cover how to identify vaping devices, how to ask your kids if they're vaping, and what parents should do to prevent tobacco use. Explain to parents in Dorchester too that there is a vaping epidemic amongst young people. The second is to compel them to have a conversation about vaping with their young people. And number three is give them tools to actually have a productive conversation. Kelly Piscatelli is a mother of DD2 students. She says she was shocked and alarmed at what officials are seeing in schools. Having a good conversation, not a lecture, not a sit down. Um, you're in trouble for what you've done and then offering support and resources. Those vaping three times more likely to smoke, parents and officials say it's important to take action now. And help support our children and make a difference in their lives and we have to be the ones to step in and intervene. There will be two more community workshops within DD2, one next Thursday at Fort Dorchester High School and one the following Tuesday at Somerville High School. Both run from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. In Studio Riley Benson, Count on Two.